Here's a nice mess of perch we caught today with some really bit nice big ones, some up to 12 inches long. Uh, but it seems like they're all over 10. So these are really good jumbo perch that we caught. So let's go ahead and show you how we fillet them up. We'll just line up some on the other side. Start with the big guy and uh, get to it. So I have this really nice perch. What I like to do first is just cut behind the gill plate, cut down to the backbone, and then you cut down back along the spine and uh, you can make your way down to the tail fin. Once you're about down to the rectal opening, you can just poke through over the spine and then cut down the rest of the way. To I leave the tail attached because I hold on to that when I uh, cut the meat off the skin. So after I've cut down through the tail like that, just cut over the ribs. You can see it over like that. So you just cut down over the ribs, cut the flesh off the off the ribs like that. There's a little bit of bone you have to cut through if you do it this way. And uh, then you're free sailing over the ribs. So there's just that little bone you'll have to cut through. And then you just cut down, down like this, along the rib, separate the meat from the rib cage to get your fillet. Once you get down that far, then you can just tear the meat away. Then you have your nice perch fillet. Then you just split it like that. Then you flip it over to the other side. Do the same on the other side. Cut down to the spine, cut down along the back, like this, and then you cut over the spine, then you go like that, and cut back to the ribs, cut through that small bone, so that you can, you hear all those little crunches, I don't know if you can hear on the camera, but then you just split it, cut down, hopefully my hand's not in the way too much here, cut down along the ribs like that so that you're getting your fillet. And then once you have it down that far, you can just split it from the ribs like that. There you go, and you can cut cut it away like this. There you have your two fillets now. Now the best thing to do once you got those, there's a little line of bones that runs in here, and uh, you should try to take those off, else your fillet will be full of these little bones. So what I do is, I just feel backwards, you'll feel those bones. And then you make a little cut down one side and a cut down the other side on each side of those bones. So you have a little slice of meat on each side. Cut off the extra ribs that got cut off. And then um, just like that. Just like that. And then once you got that far, you can spin it around and cut the flesh off the skin. Just Keep your nice, nice and flat, nice and flat. Rub it back and forth like that, and it takes it right off. Then you have your little pair of pants, as I like to call them, fish, all filleted up just like that. Now for the other side, just do the exact same thing. Just lay it out and uh, fillet it off the skin, just like this. Fillet it off the skin, just like this. There you go. That's one perch all cleaned up. We got the that little uh, pin bones out. They can be nasty to eat, so you wanna take them out. It's just a very thin strip of flesh that you're taking off with those bones. There we go. We have. Two nice fillets. Today we're using the bait buttons. Gonna try this out for the first time. Gonna see how it works to hold on the leeches. Uh, we're gonna be using a jig and a plain hook setup going after walleye and perch. So I'm gonna be showing you how to set these up so your bait doesn't come off since you have barbless hooks up here, uh, which can lead to you losing your bait easier than you would otherwise with a barb. 